Bear sightings and encounters in Metro Vancouver are on the rise as hibernation season approaches. Bears are becoming more aggressive as they go on an eating binge. The latest example happening in Coquitlam, where a black bear got into a van with a child inside. CTV's Brenda Carson-Smith is live in the Westwood Plateau area where conservation officers are now trying to capture that animal. Brianna. That's right. That's right, Scott and Mi Jung. This trap has now been set up in the yard where that bold bear climbed into a van with a person sitting in the front seat. And those who live on this street tell me that that is not the only close encounter in the last few weeks. Boy. Breaking through a fence and then crawling through, a large black bear has made itself quite comfortable in this backyard. Last month, it got even closer, coming right up to the house where the homeowners were cooking inside. I went to bring something, and uh, when I came to sit on the chair, I saw the bear coming very fast, you know, and the door was open, you know, the door was open. I didn't know what, what, what I did. I just jumped and then closed the door. The door was closed on his nose. Just a few doors down, it appears a different bear has also become emboldened. A family was putting food into their van. As the mother went inside to get more, her son sat in the front seat. Within minutes, the animal came to investigate. This bear came into the very back of the van and began eating the oats with the child still inside. The mother activated the van's alarm, scaring off the animal. But an increase in sightings in this area has traps deployed and conservation officers on alert. This is the time of the year when our call volume does increase because the fall will soon be upon us. So their food sources are starting to dry up. Their berries are starting to dry up. Um, with the salmon coming back, hopefully that alleviates some of the call pressure. These residents want to see more done, including more frequent garbage pickup. It's very scary. I hope they do something for us. In the meantime, they have bear spray at the ready in case their unwelcome visitor returns. So, Brenda, what happens to these animals if they are found? So that bear that got into the van uh, apparently had two tags on it, meaning that it had likely already been relocated at least once. So if that one is caught, especially in this trap, it will likely have to be put down. As for the bear that got nearly into the kitchen just a few weeks ago, that one apparently did not have any tags. So that one might be a candidate for relocation. Scott? Okay, thank you, Brianna.